Welcome back to another vlog. My name is Lexi. If you're new here, I'd love if you subscribe, stay a while. It's a fun time. Today, we are doing a solo beach day. I did bring two other bathing suits. If I get ambitious enough to switch bathing suits and take more pictures, but otherwise, it's just gonna be, we're gonna start a new book. We're gonna find a good beach spot. I tried these like little fun braids in my wavy hair. I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know if I did it right. It kind of looks a little dreadlocky, but either way, I've got this fun new bathing suit on. We're gonna head into the car in a minute. I wanted to get up for sunrise, but I did not sleep last night. Like, I don't know what was going on. I did have a Starbucks drink yesterday with a lot of espresso, which is more than I'm used to, but I did not sleep. So it is a little bit later. I think it's like 8.15ish right now, so. Hopefully we don't hit a lot of traffic, but I have my beach bag packed here, like my big beach bag. And then this little bag is gonna have my cameras. I am bringing my GoPro because I got a snorkel. And if I'm feeling fun and ambitious, I might vlog underwater. I don't even know if it's gonna turn out, but it's just like a fun beach day vlog. Cause when other, like name another time where I'm gonna be able to just wake up on a Monday morning and go to the beach. Like once residency starts, that's not gonna happen. So, I really just wanted to take advantage of this. Sean is at work. So I'm like, you know what? Let's go to the freaking beach for a few hours. Why not? So I'm gonna go ahead, finish packing this stuff up and head into the car and I'll bring you guys along with me. If you love beach day content and you're like, why have you not vlogged every time you go to the beach, follow me over on Instagram because I'm constantly posting stories and stuff when we go to the beach, which has been quite often. And I feel like I'm just way more active on there. So if you're not already, go ahead and follow me over there to see even more fun summer beach day content. But let's stop chatting and finally go to the beach. Okay, I forgot to bring the new tripod that Sean got me for my camera, because I'm an idiot, but it has like bendable legs and I wanted to see if I could like safely secure it somewhere in my car because I don't have a good place to vlog when I'm driving safely, obviously. Like right now you guys are set down and I don't have to like look at you. So apologies if I'm not looking at you, but I'm just being safe. But I wanted to chat, especially because once I start vlogging in residency, I'm gonna wanna talk in the car because I'm gonna have a decent commute at least after July is done. Once I start like on my regular schedule and I wanna be able to chat with you guys. Plus I feel like I always have funny things to say in the car and literally nobody is around to appreciate them. So. I will figure out that tripod situation. However, in the meantime, I just wanted to chat with you guys. Basically, I had a little dilemma this morning of like, do I go to where I know is gonna be a good beach, I'm gonna have parking, but it might be a little bit more crowded, or do I explore somewhere new? And Sean was like, just go where we know, like I want you to be safe, you're by yourself. However, there's really like, I'm going like in the Naples Beach area. It's not like I'm going to like some hidden scary like place, but I just wanted to try like a different street, like maybe a little bit more north or south, like just somewhere a little bit different. See if we can find somewhere a little bit more secluded since I'm by myself. If I want to take pictures, I don't want to have to deal with like a crowd around, which it's a Monday, so I probably won't anyways. I'm babbling, but basically what I'm saying is, is you know what, as much as I, love my tried and true like Naples Pier beach area. We're gonna try somewhere a little bit new. So I have a different beach in my GPS. The good news is, is if I show up and either there's no parking or it's crowded or I don't love it, like there's like 15 million other beaches I can try, but I wanted to try somewhere new. Oh my God, I'm so sorry you guys have been looking at my hair this whole time like this. Um, <laughs> These braids might not be for me. Maybe I just needed to like wave my hair a little bit more. <laughs> I don't know, but basically what I'm saying is, is this is your sign to explore your city and go try new places. I feel like it's so easy once you get comfortable and like find places you like to like 
just stick to those and I already have found myself doing that especially with like restaurants and beaches and things like that so we are trying somewhere new today so this is like explore a solo new beach trip like by myself Ooh, Arby's oh it's only 9 15 a.m it felt later than that I'm using my new pink Starbucks cup I love and I'm listening to a podcast on my drive it says I have 37 minutes left I really I've I'll like, give you guys a little life update. We've been looking at houses. You guys know our lease in our apartment now is up in December. We've been looking at houses. It's just a very discouraging experience because anytime we find one that we like, it's literally pending an offer already by the time we can even go see it. And houses are just like insanely priced right now. I do think that they're starting to go down, but it's just like frustrating because we're very specific in what we want and you know we could find a place for sure in our price range that maybe doesn't have what we want but we like we know we hate moving and we don't want to be there for like just a year and then move again so we're kind of trying to find something not permanent but like a little bit more ideal for what we want so it's taking a little bit longer, which we have plenty of time, but it's just like we've started the process. Plus I want to figure out like the drive situation to my residency and get like into that routine and figure out like what area I want us to be in for sure. And same with Sean and we need to explore more areas because we can live anywhere from like where we are now all the way down to like South Naples. And it's like an hour difference of like where we can live. And there's so many different areas and neighborhoods and things like that. So. Basically what I'm saying is, is we are still house hunting, but just not putting so much pressure on ourselves since we do have the time and just sort of like figuring it out. Like I've, I have no idea where I am right now, even driving. And I feel like I've driven past here a while. Okay. That's bell tower. So that's where the cycle bar is. I'm just like chatting you guys through my thought process, but like there's a couple houses for sale, like near here. And I'm like, I don't know if I'd really like that area, but now that I'm driving by, like there's so much here. And I think the trader, Joe's is not far from here too just like you know exploring and then this is only 35 minutes from this beach so if I end up liking this beach just like things like that you know what I'm saying I need to explore more before we make the decision to buy a house that is what I'm getting at this is a very long clip of me just chatting and driving so I will I will spare you guys and just get some content when I get settled at the beach so I am set up let me show you my little setup here I've got my beach chair, the umbrella. It was a little bit to carry all by myself, my cooler and then my bag, but I have found the perfect spot. I am like so secluded, but also safe. The water is beautiful. The sand is beautiful here. This might be like my new beach spot, at least for when I'm by myself and like want to be secluded. I'm so excited. I am gonna be able to take pictures with nobody judging me. I'm gonna be able to read in peace. Like this is ideal and it's beautiful outside. And I have the umbrella if I want some shade. So I'm going to put on some sunscreen and like layer up with sunscreen for sure. And then I'm gonna try and get my pictures over with right now so that I can relax the rest of the day. So I am so excited. This is like ideal situation. There's turtle nests everywhere. Obviously, I'm probably not gonna see a hatching, but that is on my bucket list for sure at some point to see that. But I am just like over the moon excited. There's so many cool shells, like truly ideal when it comes to a solo beach day. I did have to walk a little bit from where I parked and this was like a little bit hard to get to, but so, so, so worth it, in my opinion. So, my new little secret spot, and let's take some pictures. That was really cool, I'm in bathing suit number two. I uh, took a bunch of pictures in the orange one. I'll put a couple on the screen right here. And I actually saw a turtle, he was so cute. I didn't wanna get too close, cause I didn't wanna scare it, but I got some footage of seeing the turtle, and he was just crawling along the beach right near my chair. I am obsessed with this beach. There is like one other family that's like a little bit closer, kind of over near this like tree with a bunch of shells on it, which I will definitely show you guys. But otherwise it's still pretty secluded. I don't feel awkward taking pictures, which means my pictures turn out better and then I'll have my own space to read. And I've got a little shaded area as well as my towel in the sand, in the sunshine. I 
I'm so glad that I did this. I'm sweating though and I'm so excited to be done with pictures so I can just relax, but you gotta do what you gotta do. This is the bathing suit that I'm gonna stay in for the rest of the day, but I just got my snorkel out and I'm gonna head in the water to swim a little bit. I have like sand and shells all over me from sitting when I took pictures. I'll show you guys some of the other pictures that I got right here. My hair is looking a little mullety right now with this half up, half down, but I figured it was easier to snorkel with like half my hair up. There's a helicopter coming. I don't know if you guys can see it. But the water looks nice and clear. I'm gonna take my phone in for a couple snorkel pictures and then I'm gonna take the GoPro and like actually explore, swim, snorkel, all that good stuff. And then once I come back out, I will load up on sunscreen and I'm gonna start a new book. I don't know what book I'm gonna start yet, but I downloaded a bunch yesterday on my Kindle, so we will see. Got out of the water, so excuse my crazy hair. I just like threw it half up again. Bad news, the water is very seaweedy and like a little bit cloudy. I don't think you will see anything on the GoPro, and to be honest, I'm not even gonna snorkel really because the water is a lot cloudier, mainly because there's boats such as this one that is so close to the shore. That is like where I was swimming. So we are just not even gonna chance it. I'll put some pictures that I got when I did try to snorkel and swim in the water right here. It is time to dry off, load up on sunscreen, pick a new book, eat some, this has been like my absolute favorite snack, this cheese it snack mix. We'll eat some of that. I have like 40 waters and I'm just gonna relax. Read my book, dry off, sunscreen, lay out, and chill. I'll let you guys know what book I pick in a second. Let me dry off and put some sunscreen on. It's easy looking up like where to find shark's teeth in Florida and there are a couple beaches like not that far from us and I look to my right next to my towel and I freaking find one. This is so cool to me because I've been looking for these anytime we go to the beach and I finally found one. I also found some cool shells I'll show you guys when I get home but look at how cute. There was no outdoor shower, so I don't know if you guys can even see, but I have sand all over my car. Oops. All right, so I'm all showered and changed. I just put on this tank top and shorts, but I wanted to show you guys my post beach routine. So I obviously shower and wash my hair, especially because I went swimming and my hair was all salty and dry, but I found some products that I'm obsessed with, and this has been kind of my after shower routine for the most part, but mainly when I'm at the pool or beach especially. So the first product is this after sun lotion. Um, I really like this. It's like a nice thick lotion, but it rubs in really well. So it doesn't leave like a gross sticky feeling that I feel like a lot of lotions do, especially when they have like aloe and stuff in it. So I love this stuff. It says it um, preserves and extends tan. I don't know if that is necessarily true, I don't think it does the opposite, but I just haven't been using it long enough to know if it does. Plus I'm in the sun almost every day, so I'm just continuously keeping my tan. I don't know, but I will let you guys know about that part of it. And then on my face, I have been loving, Clarence sent me this in a PR package, but I've seen a lot of stuff about this and it's the double serum hydric and lipidic system and then the exact same thing but for my eyes so I just do like two pumps for my face one pump of my eye and I just rub it in I just feel like a serum in general after like being out in the sun is so nice so again I haven't been using it for like that that long but ever since I moved down here after the shower that is what I've been putting on my face and I really really like it also when I'm in the shower this I have been using since I moved down here and I am obsessed with it it is this Urban Skin RX, please focus, even tone cleansing bar. And it literally just has a sponge in here and you just, while you're in the shower, you wet it and put it all over your face and like cleanse your face. And I'm obsessed with it. Again, I don't know if it necessarily does anything crazy, but I will say my skin has been pretty good. And I just have been really happy with those products. And then as far as my hair, always it's a 10. 
I swear by this, it's like the greatest stuff on earth. But also, recently, I've been loving the JVN products, the Jonathan Van Ness. I've been using their shampoo and conditioner. Absolutely love it in the shower. That's the only shampoo and conditioner I've been using. And then this is their Instant Recovery Serum, and it's also a heat protectant. So I just put this in my damp hair, brushed it out with my wet brush, and that's my little post-beach routine. Just for the noise, I am running the vacuum and the washing machine, but I wanted to show you guys some of the shelves that I got. Um, this way is a little bit better. Okay, they do not look as cool in this little Ziploc bag, but I promise I got some cool shelves. I want to get like some sort of jar to display these in, like on a table or something, so I don't know. Trader Joe's flowers are still holding up beautifully. What's up, Lola girl? I also got this package from Coco Floss. It's their new confetti cake floss, which is so cute, I cannot wait to try it. I made some Trader Joe's penne arrabbiata and I just have some pieces of bread. I like to eat this pasta specifically with the Tuscan pan bread, like soak up some of the sauce, it's good. I probably did not need two large slices, but I was gonna do an unboxing for you guys of a bunch of mail I just got. I'll do it after I eat because I wanna sit and watch the wild season two while I eat and just sort of decompress. All finished eating, taking a break because The Wilds is such a dark show that I literally can't see anything on the TV with the sun still out. So we're gonna have to pause on that, but exciting things. My dental license came in the mail, like the hard copy. My diploma came in the mail, the hard copy, but it's like huge. I need to get a frame for it. And then I ordered this on Amazon. It is an exercise dress, but what I liked about this one, and I haven't tried it on yet, but I'll let you guys know. I'll link it down below too. It was like 25 bucks, I think, which is great because the Abercrombie, the Outdoor Voices, even the Halara, I think is how you pronounce it, ones are like a lot more than that. But what I liked about this one is that it was two pieces. A lot of exercise dresses have the built-in shorts with the pockets and everything, but they're all connected, so it's almost like a romper. I like that these were separate, so if I have to go to the bathroom, I can just take these off. So I got it in black. They had a bunch of other colors, but I figured, I was like, you know what? Let's just get a basic color for my first one, see if I like it, and go from there. So I got that. And then Bala sent me these shoes. I asked you guys on my Instagram a while ago, like what healthcare shoes you guys wear if you work in healthcare. A lot of you mentioned like a top, like top five brands, like everybody was saying the same ones. And Bala actually reached out to me and sent me a pair, which I am so grateful and excited for. And they are beautiful. Obviously I'll let you guys know as I'm wearing them once like residency starts, but as far as like the looks of them, and I tried them on and they are cute and comfy, these are like actually so cute. I'm obsessed. And let's see, they sent me like a sticker and I actually love that it comes in this little carrying case. Um, let's see, care tips. You can wipe with a high concentration Oh no, don't wipe with a high concentrated. So you can use like sanitizer wipes on them if you get anything on them while you're at work. 45 days to return them. You can throw them in the washer, but air dry only. So if you want to try these out, you can, for your first purchase, you can get 15% off at, with the code WEARBALA. I'll put it right here for you guys. Um, I'm really excited to try these out. Like I said, they have like other colors and everything, but they, are so cute and they're specially designed for like healthcare nurses things like that so i'm super excited thank you bala i think it's bala 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 b-a-l-a is how it is pronounced but these are the 12s in the shade shush gray daybreak blue white shadow gray they're all like in a row and i got a size seven this is a large package from Princess Polly and I'm actually gonna do a whole try on haul video with them so stay tuned for that and then of course all of these things especially like the clothing and stuff you will see over on my Instagram when I wear them but I am pretty much just gonna do some work for the rest of the night but as far as like the excitement goes it is pretty much over I'm just like I said gonna do computer work for the rest of the night but I hope you guys enjoyed this little like fun solo beach day in my life vlog I really enjoyed filming it and it almost felt like I was bringing a friend along, you guys, like when I went to the beach and I wasn't like super alone. So 
Thanks for coming along and comment down below what other videos and vlogs you want to see and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. In the light in your eyes, tells me stories of life in a perfect place where I want to stay.